And we are back for some more Pokemon Scarlet. I'm sorry it's been a while, guys. I know it's been a, probably you know, at least a couple of weeks since I did my last video. But, yeah, I haven't really been posting this as much as I wanted it to. So, anyway, today um, we're going to be taking on one of the Team Star raids. Um, obviously, I've made a bit more progress since the last time you saw me. Uh, last time you saw me, I did the Bombarder. Uh, Sky Titan. So, I haven't made too much progress. The only progress I've really made is just get, just open up some of the next towns. That's really all I've done. And also, I've grinded my levels a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, obviously. And I've got a new team member on the team. Varoom. Varoom. This is a Pokemon I've always wanted to try. So yeah, other than that, this is the team that I have currently. So let's go and take on our first Team Starbase. This is the weaker one, so I recommend doing this one first. I do not recommend doing Mela first, because Mela, she is, well... Oh, wait. Wait, this is not the entrance. The entrance is over here. Oh, so the entrance is over here. So that means I have to get... Oh, that's easy. Just jump into the sand! Boom! Just jump down here. Just jump down here and come across the sand. Oh, and I ran right into a Pokemon. Here we go. This is where we want to be. This is where we want to be. This is where we want to be. Uh, let's just look around a little bit. So over there is our base. That's where we. So this is where we want to be. We want to come over here. This is where we want to be. This might be a short uh, episode. This may be a short episode t today. Um, it's pretty hot here, so. So I might do a shorter episode today.
So now we enter. Now we can enter the base. Now we can enter the base. Yep, we can now enter. Okay, can we get this over with, please? Oh, man. Alright, so this is dark type, so we want to use... So we want to use Pokemon that are strong against dark types. Alright, let's get this over with, shall we? So... I am hoping to at least get this one done, and maybe Mela. I don't expect to beat Mela though. Mela is very, very tough to beat, so I am expecting... I'm fully expecting to lose, but I'm hopeful. So here we go, this is how, uh, this is how raids work. This is how the Team Star raids go. We press R to command only three of our Pokemon. Only three of our Pokemon to attack the enemy the enemy Pokemon that are in the bases. That's really it. It's not too taxing or too difficult. we just got to beat 30 within the time limit. And they are so great, generous with the time and with the timer. I mean, come on. 10 minutes? I hate to say it, that's pretty generous. Like, I don't mind a, a, a high timer if it's like like the easier ones but I feel like at least by the time you get to the harder ones I feel at least by the time you get to the harder ones the time I should at least be uh, decreased at least in my personal opinion anyway Pokemon to go, and it will be this innocent Fornyard right over here. And that's it! And that is it. Very simple, very easy. It's very, si it's very easy. You shouldn't fail those. Let me bring the camera in a bit. Excuse me, I'm just going to turn up the volume a bit here. Oh wow, it's at 38%. Yeah, excuse me, I'm just going to turn up the volume because... Coming up, you're about to hear the best soundtrack in this game. This right here is the best soundtrack in the entire game. Absolutely awesome this soundtrack is. 
Alright, let's get this started, shall we? Alright, these Team Star bases, they're usually quite they're usually quite tough. But this one shouldn't give us too much of an issue. Hornyard goes down. And so the Rever Room that he's bringing out is basically the big giant bus. And my god, I've learned to really hate this Pokemon. This Pokemon was really damn hard to deal with, but thanks to my knowledge of playing the game, thanks to the knowledge I've learned, I have now learned that this Rever that the Rever Rooms on the on, on their buses are, are, are supposed to be the type that they use. Rever Room is usually a is usually a steel poison type, but these Rever Rooms they use are supposed to be the types of you know the basic typing that they use. So because this guy's a dark type, the Rever Room is a dark type. So it shouldn't be that hard to take down. I didn't know this at the time, by the way. I didn't know this at the time. I thought it was always a steel poison type, no matter what. But when I but when I learned that it's actually the same typing as the Team Star bases, or the Team Star types, I've now learned that these Star bosses are not as hard as I originally thought. And down, and down it goes! And down it goes! And we do not get experience from this, unfortunately. That's the one thing I hate. That is the absolute one thing I absolutely hate about this, is that you get no experience points from this. None whatsoever. And that really upsets me. And now we're learning a bit of a back backstory about them. Now we get ourselves a bit of a backstory about them. Because of course we do. Get a badge to this. And we get the foul play TM. A very powerful move. Talking about Big Boss. As I said, I'm not going to go through the dialogue because I used to do that a lot, just read the dialogue in some of the Pokemon games, but I feel like I don't really need to do that. But if you guys can see the text on the screen or not, I've already played the game, so I don't really need to read anything. I could just easily just tell you guys everything just very, very quickly. But just without not spoiling anything, of course. And also my Rotom phone looks a little bit different. Because Galar is my favourite region, I made my Rotom phone look a bit more like uh, the Galar uh, decks. Uh, yeah, the Galar decks, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, very suspicious. Cassiopeia, you're very suspicious, buddy. You're not, you're not making, you're not making it. You, you, your suspiciousness is so, is not so obvious.
Penny is actually a woman, by the way, which I thought, well, I didn't think she was a male. I never once thought she was a male, but I know there might have been some people who thought that, oh, that clearly looks like a male, but Penny is actually a girl. I've got two rare candies, I could use them. Maybe to help get River Room up to speed, but I kind of want to use one on you. I want to use one on you, so that way at least you can be my second strongest. And where's my foul play? Oh, I've only got one. And only my little, and only my little pink thing can learn it. Swords Dance. Oh, man. Man. Very overpowered. Pounce. Okay. Side beam. No one can learn that. Eh. Swords Dance could come in handy. Swords Dance could come in handy. Um. Okay. So now. Okay. So now that's all sorted. We now want to go. No. No, that's not what I want. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you, that's what I wanted. Alright, um. Alright, so we want to go. We want to go to you next. Alright, so she is a bit more harder. But I'm confident we can beat her. I'm confident I can beat her. Maybe not with the Pokemon I have on my team, but I think... Hang on, did I catch... Did I catch it while off... Did I catch it... Did I catch it off camera? Did I catch it off camera? Yes, I did. Okay. Alright, so this is the Pokemon that I caught off camera. We've also got Wiglet, but I want to use this. I caught this off camera. It can evolve, by the way, but the method to evolve it is so weird that I don't even think it's even really... Like, the method to evolve it is so bizarre that you really shouldn't evolve it. Because it doesn't really change when it evolves. So, so just... So I just wouldn't recommend really evolving it. Unless if you... Like, like obviously evolve it for the Pokedex. But I just wouldn't really recommend it. Alright, so we want to use this... Um, for... The, so we want to use this for the face. Okay, so now we get to the next team star base. It's clearly, it's clearly Clavel. He's just in a disguise. He's just in a disguise, pretending to be somebody else to hide his identity. Smashing A, I really don't give a flying toss. When you know, when you know I don't give it, when, when you know I don't give a shit, when I'm just mashing A and I really don't give a shit, you know I don't give a shit. I really couldn't care less. 
but you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, 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 buddy. See level twenty five. See, look at his. See, look at their level. If you came here first and then you saw those levels, you'd be like, "What the frig? You're, you're, that was exactly my reaction when I went here first. Like my Pokemon weren't even like level twenty, and I was thinking to myself, "What really? Level twenty five? I was like, Jesus." Like, it's absolutely ridiculous how high- it's ridiculous how high level they are. Carlos. So yeah, I'm not expecting to win this battle. Mela is pretty difficult. She is... You see... You see, the things that are frustrating about this is that she was the first one that the trailers showed off, right? The trailers showed her off first. So they gave us, the audience who were watching, the impression that she's the first member of Team Star that we have to go and deal with. But the problem is, she's not. She's not the first member to deal with. She's the second you need to deal with. She's the second one you should be you should be battling, not the first one, because as I said, the le the levels are ri are disgustingly high. The, the the levels are very disgustingly high. And the one thing I like here is that my character is actually reacting to the rain. I really like that. I really like that my character is reacting to the rain. I think that's a nice touch. <clears throat> and also, um, yeah, got to be careful. Got to be careful here, um, because Mala sets up she has a tour call Mela will have a tour call and she'll have her and she'll have her tour call use drought to drain out any water damage so despite that you want to come with a water type you've got to also be prepared you've also got to be prepared for, for the for, for her tricks. You've also got to be prepared for her tricks, because she is going to use drought. So her torque ball has drought, so to, to stop water type damage. So, so despite bringing a water type is a good idea, you've also just got to be careful. Mala. People, I saw a lot of people say her name wrong. People keep call. I've seen a lot of people say her name wrong. People call her Mila. It's Mela. 
It's Mella. It's Mella. Her name is pronounced as Mella, not Mila. I know people can pronounce it differently, but that's like that's like calling the wrestler Carmella, Carmilla. That's like calling her Carmilla. Like it just doesn't work that way. Like the name is Mella. I'm sorry. The name is Mella. If you call her Mila, you're incorrect. It's Mella. Just because there's no double L, just because there's no double L doesn't mean the name is pronounced as, is pronounced differently. And here we go, this is Mella. She is one of the early tougher. She is definitely way tougher than normal. So that's why I am not going to be starting off with the water type, because. Because she is going to set up the set up the sun with droughts. Level 27! See that, guys? That is how ridiculously high their levels are. That is how ridiculously high their level, her levels are. Her level is a freaking massive, massive jump. Oh my god! Well, that's not a good way to start. Ugh, great. Well, that's not how we wanted to start this. Wow! Awesome! Well, this is a good start. This is... Okay, well, having the... well, having you isn't going to be good. Okay, well, we are now already in trouble. That crit, man, that crit really mattered. Paralyze. Nope. Jesus Christ! You see how hard? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? She is tough. I don't know why they recommend you facing her first. And obviously, like, ah! And you gotta remember, it's also it's also being boosted by the drought. And you gotta remember, it's also being boosted by drought as well. The drought, the sunlight is also boosting its attack. So... Okay. And the harsh sunlight has faded out, so that's a good sign. So I wanna, so I wanna bring you back. Okay, so now it's fire type moves aren't going to do a lot of damage to us. So now I want to safely bring in Fizzum. Okay, grassy terrain. You use the turns the ground into rock for five turns that restores the HP of the Pokemon on the ground. Okay, so. Wait, so Torkoal's not on the ground, right? So Torkoal's not on the ground, so you wouldn't really call call that as Torkoal being on the ground. So I think it could work in my favor if I wanted to try something like that. Oh man, this but oh man, this battle man is one of the early, it's one of the big it's one of the early worries. This battle is one of the early tough challenge it's one of the early tougher battles. Mela is definitely scary. All right, it flinched. So this, so this is a good chance to to withdraw. Thank God, Torkoal doesn't have like Sunny Day. Uh, that, that's the one. Oh jeez. Oh my God. You, you and your bloody crits, man. If there's one thing I'm grateful for, is that if there's one thing I'm grateful for is that Torkoal doesn't have like Sunny Day to like set up the sun again. Alright. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You freaking burned me, you asshole! Oh my god, things are just not going my way today. And now my attack stat is halved. Yep, now my attack stat is halved. You 
you piece of shit. You are a piece of shit, Torkoal. Goodbye. God, that Torkoal was annoying. And now it's time for Reva Room. The big old busted bus. Alright, so this one is a fire type. Alright, this one is level 26. How is it weaker than Torkoal? That's interesting. Oh boy. Ouch. I need to get, I need to get rid of this burn. Oh no! Oh crap! I always forget about that. Oh great, he's gonna use Screech now. But it failed. Oh man! Great. Now, now I've just made this thing eat. Now I'm making this thing go even faster. All right. Well, I think I should just let Flamingo faint here. Yeah, I think I should just let Flamingo faint. And then, we bring in our dolphin friend. I don't see this working, but, you know, I fully expect to lose this fight. Oh my god, that's speed boost. I hate it. Man, if Killer Wa- Man, if Watchrill just learned to, like, Thunder Wave or something, like, man, it, man, it would make these fights so much easier. Alright, so we're gonna Trestalize and we're gonna use Aqua Jet. I don't really see it doing any damage, to be completely honest. Like, I'm level 21 and she's like level 26. I don't really see myself doing much any damage. Uh, how much damage are we gonna do? Not as I expected. Not a lot of damage. Wow, that was not very effective, and I would- that was not very effective, by the way. I do not like your- I do not like that you're using Screech. My defenses have now been halved. Please do a lot of damage, I really appreciate that. Okay, that did a lot more damage. Please don't kill me! Damn it! Ugh. I freaking hate this thing, man. River Room sucks, man. River Room freaking sucks, man. I'm, I'm, as I predicted, I'm going to lose this battle, like I predicted. I, I predicted to you guys I was going to lose, and it uh, looks like it wasn't a prediction, it was a spoiler. There is nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Come on, Crocolaw. Oh my god. 
No damage. Literally zero damage. I am literally doing no damage. I know I shouldn't be doing this, I know I shouldn't be using potions, because I kind of think it's a bit unfair, but... <sighs> I've got no revives, right? Oh, I've got seven of them. I mean, there's no safer way for me to bring in my water type. There's really... There's really no safer way to bring it in, right? Yeah. I mean, the only way I could pro wait. I think there might be a way for me for do a safer switch in. I think because it can barely do any damage to Crocolor, I can probably hit do a revive on Fizzin. I can probably do a revive on Fizzin. Right, my idea is do a revive on Fizzin, and then max it to full HP. It'll do another weak attack on Crocolor, and then I'll use another revive on Smallu. And then Smolov can be like the bait. That's my idea here. Ow. Of course. Of course, that was a crit. Crocolore, he, uh... Yeah, see, this is really all... Oh, my God. Seriously? Another crit! What is this? Freaking hell, man. Freaking hell, man. Enough with the crits. Jesus Christ. She's crit me so many times in this battle. It's so ridiculous. Sorry, small Liv, But, uh, you're gonna have to be the bait here. This is really the only chance I have, really. Like, clearly Dive does more damage. But because of all the speed boosts... Okay. Okay. Fizzin can at least handle a few hits. Okay, that- okay, that was good damage. Okay! It can live two hits! It can- it can- it can handle at least two hits! Alright. That's a good sign. It only killed- it only killed me the last time because it used Screech. Okay, that's a good sign. I know this is unfair! I know me using potions is unfair, guys. But, gotta win by any means necessary, unfortunately. Oh! Okay, he's using Swift now. Wait! Oh, I was gonna say, is he out? Oh, no! Okay. Oh, he was gonna use Swift just to finish me off. I was gonna say, did it run out of PP for, um... For its move. <laughs> At least we still got this awesome music banging in the background. Jesus Christ. This video has gone on for 40 minutes. This video has gone on for 40 minutes now. Oh! Dodge the Screech, baby! It was trying to Screech me! Okay. Ah! Oh, still not enough! Live! Yes! Alright, even if it survives this, we'll use Aqua Jet. Oh my god, I think we did it. 
I think we somehow pulled it off. Oh. Okay. Finish it with Aqua Jet. We did it. We somehow did it. I know. I know my method was a bit unfair. I know my methods probably were a bit mean and a bit rude to use potions, but you know, go in by any means necessary. Unfortunately, yep, we beat her. We beat her, and uh, I need to do some serious grind. <laughs> oh man. I need to do some serious grinding. I need to find a place where I can find chances. I need to find a good place where I can go grind up some chances. That's really where, where, what I need to do next. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing in, in, um, in my own time. I'm going to find a place where I can find uh, some chances, and then I'm just going to like sit there for a while and just grind up my Pokemon's levels, because I really need my Pokemon up higher levels than this. Because this is pathetic. All right, so I'm gonna. All right, we're just gonna sit through this scene and then we will call it there. Fizzin' that did, did that did you in, girl? But you know, you say you know you do you. Yes, it is that special penny. Necessary, and that's all that matters to me. 
And yes, it may suck to a lot of you that probably wanted to see an interesting battle. Well, anyway, I'm going to go and find some chances to grind off of. No, we will do that gym later. Well, I'm going to go and find some chances to grind off of because my god, I need the levels. Because my god, I need the levels badly. Because chances are like the best Pokemon to go find when it comes to grinding your levels. So anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this very long video. We beat two Team Star members. And uh, the next time I'll see you guys might be a while because I need to go find some chances to grind off of. But until then, I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon.